So why is your iPhone running slow? Well, this is such a broad topic, but let's cover it and let's talk about the most common reasons why your phone is getting slow. Well, first of all, you might be having a lot of things going on in the background. So naturally, when you grab your phone, you start using different apps and everything. But if you start to use some very intensive apps and a lot of them at the same time, like you quickly switch in between hard and like very intensive apps, the phone might get slowed down a little bit. Outside of that, we have what's called the background app refresh. And if you have that turned on, you can notice that the phone kind of struggles to keep everything running fast. So inside of these settings, you can go to the general section and there we have the background app refresh. And you can turn it off completely for every app, which obviously is your preference. But I personally like to keep it turned on for only specific apps. Some apps which I want to be used in the background to get the latest data. For example, weather is a good one because I always want to get the latest information in my weather widget. So yeah, it makes sense that I want the app to have access to the internet and work in the background. But some random apps and like social media or I don't know, like games, I would recommend you to turn it off for those and ensure that the phone can focus on the main thing and it can focus on it 100% to ensure it's not slow. Then, of course, there is the software and the hardware which comes into this. So, of course, the best thing to do is to keep your phone running the latest version of the iOS. Like, this is generally a good practice. But just keep in mind that some older devices may still struggle with the new features and everything, right? So, as I said, it also kind of depends on the hardware, right? So, if you have, like, a really old iPhone with an old, outdated chip, well it's going to be harder for those phones to run faster, right? If they all have like smaller RAM and everything. So, you know, in those cases, it may not be enough to, to perform some software updates. But yeah, generally speaking, uh, don't use like a lot of power consuming apps at the same time. If you need to like export a video or do something, then make sure you stick with that app to ensure that it runs fast and uh, don't switch quickly between like these intensive apps. Also keep in mind to restart the phone because we as people just got used to having our phones turn on at 24 seven and sometimes a quick restart, like literally turning off your phone, waiting a bit and turning it back on can make a difference to reset the RAM and all of the background things. So yeah, it makes sense to have that. And one last thing to check out is of course the storage. Now, obviously, we don't want to wipe our phones clean, but when the phone is approaching the full capacity, like with your photos and apps, this can also contribute to your phone being a little slower than it could be. So just keep that in mind and just try to do and optimize your phone in that way. So yeah, let me know below in the comments if there are some more thoughts or things that have helped you personally, but these are the things which I would do. So thanks a lot for watching, subscribe for more, and I'll see you later in the next tutorials.